Llama recently introduced a brand new open source version of Llama 3.2. It's called Llama 3.2 Vision. And I wanted to show you how to run it locally and completely privately on your own computer. And obviously having an AI chatbot on your Copilot Plus PC, which is what I have here, allows you to have more privacy, more security. Obviously it's gonna be better for performance and a lot better for control. Now, HP partnered with me for this video and they were kind enough to send me an Elite Ultrabook Next Gen AI PC laptop powered by Snapdragon X Elite processor. And this laptop is actually redesigned from the ground up for the age of AI. And they have a lot of AI features that I'm gonna focus on on this video. And this computer also comes with a really powerful NPU. That's your neural processing unit, which is really the main brain behind all of the AI features that we're gonna look at, including running an AI here locally. Okay, I'll cover the laptop in more detail in a bit. Right now, I wanna show you a five-step process for installing this large language model, Llama in this case, and I'll point out all the hardware. I'm gonna open up the task manager so you could see all the different processor, the memory, everything that is running in the background so you could run these models locally. That's a question I got asked all the time. Anytime I made a video about running local large language models, People were asking me, well, what kind of hardware do you need? Well, this is a very good example of that. Specifically, this laptop since is designed to be AI first. I thought it was a perfect fit for this video. Okay, the first step is we're gonna go to olama.com and we're just gonna download olama here to our computer. I'm on a Windows here, so you need Windows 10 or later. I'm on a later version. Download for Windows, just click right there and it's gonna go ahead and download that and we'll install. That's your very first step. Okay, once Olama is installed, it's gonna run in the background. We don't need to do anything with it. We're gonna to go to step two. And for step two, back on the same website, olama.com, we're gonna to go to this models page and we're gonna look for a brand new model here. This is Llama 3.2, the vision model. And this is gonna come in two different sizes. We're gonna run the 11B model locally. We're gonna go ahead and click on this right here. And then it's gonna give you this code, which usually just says Olama space run space, the name of the large language model. And you could install all kinds of different large language models using this exact same technique. This is a good one. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this code for the step. Now for step number three, we just need to go to the search bar down here and look for an app called Terminal. And with Terminal, we just have to open it and paste that code that we got from the Olama website, that three word code. Now this might take just a minute or two to install depending on the speed of your Wi-Fi. And then we'll go to step number three. Now I actually have a large language model, Llama 3.2 Vision here running on my computer just in those simple three steps. So if I wanna to talk to it, I could just talk to it inside of this terminal app. This is just Llama 3.2. Now the next two steps are to give you a nice looking user interface so you could do any type of chat with an AI model locally. And to do that, we're gonna first in step four, install Docker. So if you go to docker.com, you could install it here on Windows right now. I'm on this ARM64, so you could go to your system settings and see that. I'll show you that in a little bit too because I wanna show you a lot of the specs here that I have on this HP laptop to show you what you need. Again, this is designed to do these kind of things. That's why I picked it for this video. But if you choose this option, you're gonna be able to install Docker on your computer. So go through the installation process here. And once you have that installed, if you go to your search bar here and open the Docker app, it just needs to be open, but you don't have to do anything once it's open. You just go through the sign up of it here. I'm even gonna skip creating an account. We don't even need to do that step. Okay, and then your page should look like this. It just says containers, but we don't have any containers running that will show up over here. As long as Docker is running, you can minimize this page and we're gonna go to the last step and that is gonna be installing something called Open Web UI. Now what Open Web UI is gonna let us do is gonna give us a chat interface where we could talk to these large language models that looks a lot nicer than using it inside of the terminal app. So I'm gonna to go to their docs tab right over here and I'll go to get started and the quick start guide. Now, you could actually just go to the links in the description to come to these pages. You don't have to follow the same path. Okay, now all you have to do is come down here where it says quick start with Docker and there's this one line of code that we gotta type back in into terminal. I'm gonna copy and paste it. Let's open up terminal and we'll go ahead and paste that over here. This is gonna be our last step. Okay, now if I go back to the Docker app, I have a container here. So that's why Docker had to be 
installed and running but minimized and now I have this container and if I click on this port right here it's going to bring me to this page and I just have to sign in or create an account so I already have an open web UI account so I just have to sign into it now this is going to launch just a web page but we're not on the web if you look at the URL here we're just running this locally and this is open web UI that's going to give us this nice chat interface right on top right here I'm going to click right here and choose Llama 3.2 the vision model I have installed and set it as my default if I want to install more models I could easily do that all you have to do is go to the Olama website again go to the models tab all these models just have a simple code so for example the non-vision model over here this is the code for it so if I copy this over and then if I open up terminal one more time I could go ahead and paste that over here and press enter and this is going to go ahead and install Llama 3.2 and if I refresh this page now right here you could see if I click this I have a different model here so if I want to use vision I'll use this one if I want to use the regular Llama I'll use this one and have a chat with it right over here so if you just click on one of these works like any other chat bot that you're used to and you could see it's working really really fast with this model now let me open up the hardware specs and show you the task manager so you can see exactly how this all works because a lot of times people ask me hey what kind of hardware well in this video I'm using this HP EliteBook Ultra G1Q and this is powered by the Snapdragon X Elite processor a 12 core CPU it has a powerful GPU and specifically it has a powerful NPU that is your neural processor that is designed to run this kind of task for AI okay so I'll have task manager open while I do some of this and task manager has this tab on the left side this is going to show you the CPU usage your memory usage but more specifically your MPU and your GPU usage now this laptop specifically too is designed to be on the go it's less than three pounds it could play videos up to 25 hours with a single charge that's your battery life and since I'm on the go myself a lot and I make videos for professionals entrepreneurs that are on the go a lot I thought this would be a really good fit well while this is running let me go ahead and do some tasks here and I'll use the vision mode I'll choose the vision mode on here and let's take a screenshot of the world map and they actually have f12 as a quick screenshot taker so we'll go ahead and take a screenshot of the world map here there we go save to my desktop and I'll go ahead and upload this using this vision it's in my pictures folder I'm going to ask what is this and here we go this appears to be an image of the world map specifically the Roman Empire version now for those of you that wanted to run Llama 3.2 vision and have a vision capable AI local and private on your computer that's the way you do it here with all the different steps that I covered but this laptop this HP laptop actually has a couple of really interesting AI tools that I think make it worthwhile especially for people that are busy that are on the go that are looking for a very good deal on a laptop that is designed for AI first performance okay let me show you this in action I'm going to go ahead and launch this app right here now this is the HP AI companion here so I could ask it for anything that I would use any chatbot for I'm going to ask it for a detailed marketing plan for my AI education business and while it's doing that let me just show you the speed of it here in real time look at the speed of this this is local <laughs> on my laptop here and I'm just going to pull up task manager here just to show you look at the usage the GPU is being used right now sometimes the MPU gets used but my CPU is hardly being used I'm only at 16 percent here doing this kind of processing on this laptop now this analyze tab is one of the most powerful parts of this because now you could interact with your own documents to get actionable insights and this is again local on device I'm doing this right on my laptop so I could go ahead and create an entire library and add this is up to 100 megabytes of documents PDFs Word documents and you could go ahead and create a library again with multiple files you could create multiple different libraries here you just name it give it the sources I've done one here and I could ask it any question recap this in one sentence okay this provides definitions and explanations for key AI related terms and concepts exactly what I was looking for it shows the reference for the document if you have multiple documents where you pulled it from and here with task manager again it used very little GPU here the CPU usage is very low so a great way to analyze anything locally here now this perform tab is really interesting because here you could actually optimize your computer just using a chat box so you can maintain optimal system drivers firmwares 
maximize the performance of your next gen AI PC here. And this shows me that the PC is optimized and it's gonna show me some other things related to my PC, how much memory I'm using. And my battery life is at 100%, but again, this is designed to be on the go. So the battery life, for example, if you're playing video, which is something they use across benchmark testing with laptops, this could do up to 25 hours of video playback, which is just an insane amount. Now I wanna show you this really powerful AI app they have. This is Poly Camera Pro. So this is gonna take advantage of the MPU and this already, the camera looks really good on this laptop, but it has this privacy shutter too. That's pretty cool. So you could actually turn off the camera manually. I could actually change the mode here and I could blur my background. Now this is gonna start using our MPU that I've mentioned too. So we're only at 3% of the MPU. So that's gonna run, that's the brain behind this whole AI side of things. And we have this nice spotlight option over here. Let me go ahead and turn that on here. You can see it works really fast. And wow, that looks a lot nicer, right? So this was kind of my natural setting down here. And if I add the spotlight, you can see I really pop from the background. So this could be an interesting effect. They got a whole filter gallery over here too. So if I go to this filter gallery, I could apply any of these filters over here as well. And I have adjustments for how those look. I'm gonna skip out of that one. Now, what's great about this app is all these effects apply to any camera that you connect to your laptop, not just the built-in one. And it works across the collaboration apps that you probably use every single day. So you could use it across Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and apps like that too. You could actually go ahead and reframe yourself. So this has like a manual zoom option over here that you could go ahead and use. It will also track you around. So if you set this up and then you kind of move around, you could see how it's trying to follow me around here with the zoom applied. So that's probably a little bit too close. So I'll back that up. And you also have interesting scenes like this. So you could really dial this in, put your information on screen if you want. They have a bunch of them. I like this one. This is a nice lower graphic here that I could add to my scene. So quite a bit we covered on this video. I wanted to show you the different ways you could use your PC to running large language models locally, including the vision model. Obviously the HPAI companion app gives you a lot of access, including analyzing your own documents locally and privately. And I'll put a link in the description to this laptop so you could learn more about it, see the latest pricing information and see the different specs. Because for example, you could get it with 16 gigs of RAM, or 32 gigs, I have the 16 gigs. You may want the one terabyte hard drive, for example, if you're gonna store a lot of files locally. Thanks again to HP and Snapdragon for sponsoring this video. I hope you found it useful and I will see you on the next one.